This is the moment that Simmy, Phoebe, Kate and Chloe got to see what they'd imagined on paper become an actual man-made building. <laughs> wow. All in year 11, the girls had planned, researched and designed the science lab for four months as part of a nationwide competition called Lab of the Future. I don't think we thought we'd win up until we won. I, the whole time we were telling ourselves that it was going to be someone else and that it was a national competition, it's really unlikely we'd win. And we were constantly checking the Twitter feed, seeing what was said and psyching ourselves up to lose. And then when we actually won, it was just unbelievable. <laughs> when we were planning, the first, first thing we did was we had surveys and we gave them to teachers and students at our school. And we used those to see what people actually using the lab wanted. And that was a major factor. We also have looked at our own labs that we had lessons in and we thought what we didn't like about them. So whether it was the fact that you couldn't always be easily accessible by the teacher if you needed help. So then we decided that we had to make that a main feature of the lab. And we also wanted to have things that just made it more interesting to work in. The girls at King Edward VI Camp Hill School beat off competition from 36 other schools. The actual winning design uh, was selected by a panel of judges because it was a 52 page detailed report that went from surveying end users right the way through to health and safety, choosing the products, the materials, the layouts, and um, even thinking about the teacher and how to actually improve uh, teaching and learning in that space as well. What you're seeing now isn't actually the prize for winning this competition though. It's actually £20,000 that contributes towards lab furniture. Some of the labs were getting quite old, we were having some new labs, we wanted to slightly repurpose this room. We thought, well, we can't, we can't have this money of lab furniture and then not do anything um, with it. So yes, the school did find the extra money to actually be able to refit the lab and pay for the labour and the extra work that was, was needed to make it a reality. Come the beginning of September, this lab will be full with students. And while science is the main lesson being taught, perhaps there's something more abstract to be learnt too. Visions can become a reality. Roshni Patel for Big News in Birmingham.